And audio output should be, I guess, I guess. Can you say something? Yeah. Marcus? Yeah, we can. Yes. Hello. Hello. I don't know. All, all the all the settings were whacked out. This heat wave is not doing anybody any favors. <laughs> no. And there was like a big CME solar flare thing today as well. I, yeah. Electronics is getting hit hard. Bless it. Okay. So welcome, uh, everyone. We are broadcasting from the furnace that is the UK. This is day two of three of a massive heat wave that we are not accustomed to having in the UK. So I'm drinking... El Scorcho is the technical term. El Scorcho. I, I've got El tonic Scorcho. with tons of ice to try to salvage this. Mm. Yeah, I will not be drinking tonight because I need to be hydrated. <laughs> so Hell yes. the water for me. Um, yeah, I have... Um, it's far too hot. Yeah, it's definitely hot. And, you know, a lot of Americans like to say, oh, yeah, you, you know, it's, we have that all the time. But you have air conditioning all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're actually yep. sitting there in the heat. <laughs> exactly. And your houses aren't designed to keep heat in. Like from an engineering term, like our house is designed to not let the heat out. It goes, hey, stay a while. Come on in. Yeah. For a heat wave, that's not great. All right, let us get started. You know, I saved all these camera, beautiful camera angles um, it, that I found at this new feature, but somehow I didn't save, so I'm going to have to restore them. All right, so let's start here. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> all kinds of messes. Right. We'll we are playing uh, Christian <laughs> from Germany. He is uh, Himalalao, I'm pretty sure, on the left. Okay, great. And um, and he's playing Shield tonight. And we have a Colte, who is a Chris, I think. I'm not sure where he is uh, located, so I'll have to check on that um, after we get into the interviews. Um, but he'll be the red player tonight. And what we are playing is the Villain's Lair. Let's see who made this beautiful map. Pat! Good old Pat. So we're in for a treat. Good old Pat. I was going to say, I had a bit of Pat vibes to me <laughs> in the way it was structured. So. Uh, and we're playing uh, Scrolls. So a uh, single extract and mm -hmm. um, we're playing 18 points. It looks like, cause I just saw the arrow and mutant madman, another very mutant popular, Mad both of these very popular this season. What do you think? Yeah. Um, again, we're seeing a lot of um, power dependent crises this season, like where you actually have to expose, like spend your power to um, keep up with the tempo. And I think it works for the meta that we're seeing, right? Like was, again, we're seeing a lot of brotherhood, they're very good at generating power and they want their opponents to use that power so they don't have things like brace up and other things to stop that extra damage coming through. So yeah, it's a theme of the season, I feel. Have you been playing against Shield or know about it? Have you played Shield? Um, so I've been trying to work out Shield for a while. Um, yeah, obviously the main thing they used to do was the, the Wakanda Herb sort of jank. They would grab an extract very quick and tell it, but uh, teleport it back. But now um, that's gone. I think they fit in this more. They're very good against not being disrupted, Norbit. So with taking a damage and then basically getting an aggressive move that allows them to move short, they can stop things like pushes uh, as long as it does damage and so on. Um, so that's pretty good. So I think they're always going to be trying to use that movement momentum to get further up the board. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm very keen to see what they're like. Uh, I think a lot of pro players are going to be playing them. They take a little, I think, getting used to. But Yeah, I think there's that with that sort of wizard magic with them, where it take, I think there's a higher ceiling to them, just like Convocation, to kind of understand them. I'll need to check with somebody. So I've set all the camera angles out so I can whip ourselves around from one camera angle to the Perfect. next. Professional. Yeah, but uh, they didn't save, so I need to figure out how to save it. So from game to game, it's always like that. My game three will be on uh, Wednesday this week. Wednesday, so tune in then. Mm. Oh, man, is that refreshing. Whew, I have the trifecta yeah. of heat wave. Do you want to know what that is, Marcus? What's that? Please, Norbert, tell it's, me. What's the trifecta? Uh, it's it's uh, cesspools for armpits, uh, mm -hmm. swamp ass. And, yeah, swamp ass. Yeah, and sweaty balls. Sweaty balls, it's true. I would also say a gooey taint is another. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've outdone me, sir. <laughs> it's an additional one. But yeah, it's uh, it, it's rough here. But we're with good company and good friends. And, <laughs> that's that's what uh, I said. Uh, my wife was like, are you sure you want to do this tonight? And I was like, 
yes, because I need something to distract me from my sweaty mm-hmm. balls. Yeah, when you said tonight, I was like, yes, no, but distract me from this <laughs> heat wave. <laughs> I'm abolishing my brain. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me turn up the sound a little bit. All right, looks like the players are getting their characters out. So let me use my special key here uh-huh, 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 and uh, check out Acolyte. Acolyte has taken Beast, Magic, Storm, Rogue, and Corvus Glaive with the Reality Gem. So he's playing X-Men. So they're playing 18 as well. Yeah, it looks like 18 points. And the cards are Mission Objective, which makes sense with the single extract floating around. First Class, another good card. To me, my X-Men, good. Journey Through Limbo, love it. I love Magic. Uh, That's her card. And Escort to Safety, so a bit of a... uh, Kind of a way, very maneuverable team to begin with, but this also adds to the maneuverability. Definitely. And also combo as well with mission objective right now a bit because um, Corvus has got um, scroll to a crit. It's easier to find that um, scroll. Then you can basically escort him to safety, move him back. And then if he does go down, mission objective, he's right next to someone. So, um. Let's go take it. I'm going to hit my little special button here. Boop. Look at that. Boom. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Right. So, uh, Christian uh, Hemi uh, from Germany has taken Nick Fury. Interesting. Uh, shield agents. Venom. Everybody's predicted he'd take Venom. And there it is. Uh, Iron Man, Bullseye, Black Widow, and Winter Soldier. So, yeah. very wide. Very wide. Yeah, and, seven in total with the grunts. So. Yeah, God. Oh, yeah, with the grunts, sure. Indomitable, Brace, Eye in the Sky. That's the card everybody's got their eye on. Ha, ha, ha. Mm-hmm. You see what I did there? Uh, Battlefield <laughs> Medicine. Yep, so this is the med pack. Mm-hmm. And Shield Mobile, the other one. People love these cards, and I think this is the reason that people want <clears> the shield. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm just trying to think who can actually use that on, though. Um, so Which one? When a soldier, um, shield mobile, it's only right. shield, so you won't okay. be able to use it on Venom or Bullseye, but everyone else is open, so. Right, okay. Because it's only an allied shield um, character that can do that, and battle medicine as well. I'm gonna use my Interesting, spell. no lethal protector, but shield are very greedy for their cards. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's got three shield cards. I mean, he could have tossed out Brace, I suppose, or a nominable, but... Indeed. Um, yeah, I don't know about Indomitable uh, against the X-Men squad. Against Beast has got a throw, uh, so is Storm, so. Whew. Okay. Deployment's happening. Hooray! Let's get this game going. So I'm taking a look here. We have um, so the three scrolls down the middle and mm-hmm. uh, the four traps. Now let's take a look at the traps. I'm going to use my little button here. Boop. And the trap is, during the cleanup phase, each player controlling a trap choosing enemy character within two of each trap they control, and that character suffers one damage and one power. So, yeah, and it'll... it's uh, uh, a physical roll they have to do as well, which is important for How do you the mean? shield team. Um, they have to, they roll dice equal to their uh, physical defense. Oh, oh, beg your pardon. Yes, that's right. That's how they get to, it's a pay to flip, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and S.H.I.E.L.D. have really good physical defense. Um, Nick's got four, Venom's got four, Iron Man's got four, Bullseye's got three, I think. Um, Black Widow's got four as well, I believe, physical. Hmm. And uh, three for Winter Soldier, so. All right. Uh, Let's see, have they deployed everything? Looks like they have, so let's take a look. So, uh, I forget the fellow's name. Is it Chris or John now? Can you can you remind me? Uh, Christian for... Um, no, the Christian, show. but what about the other fella? Is his name? Oh. Um, that I don't know. I have to I look. I would have to look at what you sent While me. you're looking, I'm going to repeat what Christian's taken. So, on his far left flank, he's got Iron Man and Winter Soldier, but he has weighted his right flank heavily with the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, Nick Fury, Bullseye, and Venom. Across from that bulk or a bulwark of characters is Beast. Centrally located is Storm and Magic. Uh, Corvus with his reality gem is uh, towards the right flank, and then Rogue holding the right flank. I don't know if I mentioned Rogue earlier, but okay. Uh, he's just flipped first class, so obviously going to use it first turn. 
and makes sense. Allows him to not uh, basically spend power for the first thing he interacts with. Cool. Did you find out his so. name? No, I didn't send it to me, Norbert. Oh, so. let me look in here. I have it here. Uh, where am I? Mm -hmm. well, well, I hope everyone's surviving in the heat wave in the chat and doing all well. <laughs> all right. Um, he, the fella sounds like he might be English, but we will have okay, to cool. wait to find out. Uh, da, 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 no, that's you. Come on, Facebook. We'll load up. Chris Stevens. I knew it was the same name. Chris Stevens. There we go. Perfect. Right. So it looks like uh, Christian, um, I'm not sure if he had priority or was asked to pass, um, but he has activated Bullseye. And where the heck is Bullseye now? There he is. Bullseye's that makes sense. To... Yeah, Christian uh, can pass. He's got like seven characters, but um, Chris definitely can with five. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. And let's see, I'm not sure if he, did he pay to flip? Yeah, he's paid and it, it looks like it has flipped. So it looks like Bullseye has flipped the trap on his side. Great. Cool. So Chris then has moved Rogue to uh, flip the trap on the right, his right hand side and then moved her centrally again. Not sure if it uh, flipped or not, though. This thing should show, I think the mod shows you if somebody turns a pay to flip, right? Oh, no, they have to put a little token on it. There we go. Yeah, they need to put a token on before. So I've seen I've seen Christian on the left here put his down, but I, maybe she failed. No, she rolled a crit, so it should have been all right. He hasn't just put the token down. That's fine. We'll just try to remember. Um, oh, but yeah. Glenn's saying that Bullseye might have failed the flip because only now did they put the um, token down when Venom went up there. Fair enough. Right, okay. So Venom had to go do the job. And um, um, that's one thing with these pay to flips, though, right, Norbert? They can be the great equalizer sometimes, mm. where you can play the best game you can, but you can stack the dice in your favor, but if they just don't come through. Um, it's interesting because I think pay to flips were really, really frowned upon in season seven, um, but somehow yeah. now they've gotten a lot more acceptance for some reason. Yeah, I just think, again, it's uh, a lot of factions that have a lot of power currently in the meta. And uh, like for X-Men, it's great. You play um, first class. And uh, yeah, so well, yeah, he gets to do it for free, power. doesn't he? If that's mm -hmm. what yeah, cool. Hence why Rogue uh, has still got one power. So she's open for a charge next turn, which is fantastic. <laughs> Good point. And he's setting up uh, magic to be able to teleport X um, Beast up with the X-Men affiliation. That's what he's doing there. Yeah. But at the same time, getting magic to probably try to flip that. Um, uh, trap. Yeah. Three dice looking for uh, at least one hit. So there we go. That's the hit she needs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, it's an interesting choice for Venom on this because he doesn't have lethal protector. Um, also, the Winter Soldier is over on a side where I don't think he's going to be getting much out of um, the retaliation shots, but we'll see how it goes. I see the token now. The um, the the trap on the top right for the X Men player is uh, definitely his. So he uh, the cool. X Men player right. owns both of his traps, and it looks like uh, Christian's just now um, gotten both of his traps as well. So the players have put two characters, at least two characters, on each uh, flank to make sure that that pay to flip happens. Yeah. Which makes a lot of sense. I am going to make you a little smaller. Your head is amazingly big. Oh, yeah, please. I don't want uh, any uh, fuel for chat to start. Marcus has got a big head. I don't I don't need it for my ego. <laughs> I'm already so fragile. Um, what I have noticed, and I do like, I think um, Chris might have noticed it as well, is um, with Black Widow on that left flank, she could double move long and try to take the um, uh, Chris's uh, back uh, mutant. Ah, okay. Back. Interesting. So, so he's uh, moved Storm uh, over Storm there to protect it. Up, just protect it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Just to keep an eye, which is probably a good catch. And also it means if um, 
Black Widow moves to that middle point and grabs a scroll. Uh, Chris has got someone to react with mm -hmm. in that corner as well, yeah. which is always good to think about. I better go down here, see if anybody's moving anything. So we've got Storm on the right, Rogue in the center. Uh, mm -hmm. Magic here uh, with Beast ready to pounce. No one's gone after the scrolls just yet. Everybody's securing those traps. Bullseye, yeah. Venom on the right, Iron Man here in the middle. And now it looks like Winter yeah. Soldier is going to step up. Iron I Man was the one who flipped this trap, didn't he? Yeah, he moved, flipped, and then just moved to a more central position, which I like. Uh, yeah, I think Chris can also uh, pass a couple of times at some point as well and wait for that um, teleport move of Beast to get in a better position. Right. And just got to wait in hiding until, until it's really needed. Chris John looking to move into stealth range or staying out of her attack range, one or the other. Interesting. Maybe depending on where he puts uh, Black Widow, he's planning for a uh, Hydra Tactics next turn. Mm, okay. To move on. I'm going to bet that Corvus is going to go look for that scroll. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I think <clears throat> the right flank is probably the best place for him as well. Because uh, less, uh, less characters to him to contend with, right? Yeah, definitely. So this will be a I, big RNG m moment to this game if this thing. If yeah. He, if he also, finds depending it. on how far out that. Um, yeah, I'm just about to check now. I don't know whether it gets. Yeah, I think it does. I think they're okay. Hmm. From a board design point of view, I kind of would have liked it if those bridges were just a little bit wider, which forces you to go to the side to interact. Mm -hmm. But to be able to. Because obviously right. you have to fully be on a piece. Right? Big roll here. Big roll. Ooh, he finds it. Yeah. Finds it. Doesn't even need the reality gem. Wow. Chuck it in the trash. <laughs> right. I. Yeah, that that's big for um, early point scoring. Yep. Especially with a lot of um, Christian's um, squad being over on that right flank, leaving. Uh, Corvus able to pretty much go where he wants. It's all woulda, coulda, shouldas, but maybe Christian could have moved twice and just tried to get that um, gem before Corvus had a chance. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But, you know, that's the danger of leaving it. Mm -hmm. Especially with someone that's got so much stacked in their uh, favor to get it, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, he's got double the chance of anybody else because of that reality gem, essentially. Yeah. 100%. Right. Um, so now uh, Black Widow's moved up once. Looks like he's checking to see if Storm is in um, affiliation jumping range, but it doesn't look like it. What's the name of that ability? You know what? I'm going to use my little thing here. Here we go. Uh, the affiliation... Leadership is called X Men Gold. X Men Gold, right? Okay. Yeah, because then Cyclops is X Men Blue, I believe. Two team names. Right. Black Widow has decided to stay on her side of the table and maybe attack. Indeed, it has to be in their activation. They do the jump anyway, I believe. Mm. So it would have to be Storm's activation to get the two off. So. Right. Not a bad hit. Uh, three hits so far, uh, but three saves. No, oh, sorry, two saves. Uh, yeah, two saves with the minus one as well. No, or... so so it would have been so nothing because he gets minus one, right? Because he does it. Does oh he... well, to a minimum of uh, one though. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Minimum. Okay. Um, I noticed Chris is one of these dice clearers. <laughs> There's, right, a, there's okay. a certain certain population of gamer that's got this need to clear the the dice tray almost immediately. I don't know what it is. It's, I like, just, it's a minority. I like to leave it there to settle. I just like to <laughs> yeah. let everyone have a chance to have a look, breathe it in a little bit, and even if it's bad, I just like to sit in the misery and just be like, "Yep." Yeah. All right. Okay, there it is. X Men Gold leadership moving beast forward. Yeah. 
Oh, playing very aggressively. Yeah, look at him. He's just going in for it. Boom. He, uh, he will need three... Um, yeah, he will need three hits, though, on this one. Because there was two contesting people on it. So. Let's see if he does it. He's been lucky so far. Ooh, close. But oh, no, no cigar. Yeah, just missing one. So. Close. Very close indeed. Um, it will mean that Beast will be taking the damage now. So. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, uh, I misread it, whatever happened with um, Corvus, and Corvus uh, was able to defend all the all the attacks or all the um, hits. So that's why he has no damage. Yeah, he on might him. have had a uh, skull. It stands real quick. Uh, I know. I overlook it all the time. Right here goes Shield Agents in action. Uh, going all the way on the left because that's where the scroll is. Yeah. So they're just running over there, and Nick Fury's like, "Yeah, let's get over there." Stop that alien. Also, what I will say and what could be funny, though, is if Corvus just moves away twice anyway. Right. Uh, at least two smalls. And then uses the uh, X-Men leadership just to jump away. The scroll is... Um, you have you can only move short, correct? Yes, yeah, indeed. Because yeah. I sometimes get confused with the um, Cree Corps. Precor is the yeah. other single extract. It does it So yeah, short is bad, but short on a medium base is better than short on a small base as well, right? Yeah. And Corvus is a bit chunkier in that aspect. So. Right. So a commanding four to two lead by Chris. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gill's mentioning that you cannot jump with the leadership while holding a token. Okay, great. Yeah, that is good news. Um, because, you know, it's funny, they cleared that out of most of the game, and everyone seemed to have loved that. But um, then there are some characters who can do it still. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which cards do you want to see, Chris? Give me a shout, and I will use my special camera angle to reveal them to you. And we'll go in. We'll the... give you that high view. <laughs> that the camera I... in the sky for you, Chris. The X-Men player does have mission objective, by the way. That we know. Uh, which is uh, problematic now that he has, for Chris Sean, now that uh, he has the uh, scroll in his possession. Especially because he's a, you know, a beater and five points. He doesn't want to be holding on to that scroll. He wants to give it to somebody else and then go and get down to, you know, his day job of killing yeah, people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mission Objective is great, Chris. Yeah, tell me all about how Mission Objective is so wonderful. <laughs> you rat bastard. This, look, this is a nice... This <laughs> is a, a safe zone, all right? Where grudges <laughs> are not brought up. That's for the battlefield. <laughs> this is the cantina afterwards, the marquee, where we drink our meat and tell our tales. By the way, I have my nice Hawaiian shirt on. You don't, you don't have any summer gear, but I, I did have this no. Hawaiian shirt that I, I took out. If it gets uh, normally, I reserve only when I get sixty-nine new uh, OnlyFans subscribers. Do I take my yeah. shirt off? But I think with the heat, I think we can lower that number tonight. I think we can. Like, how many buttons can you undo before we get a nipple? Because well, Twitch don't like nipples. There's no nipples but, allowed. <laughs> yeah, there's no nipples allowed on Twitch, Norbert. I'm sorry to. Uh, what if I'm breastfeeding? What? I'm sorry. Do they? That's love an awkward. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> That, that's a question for God, not me. So. <laughs> that's a good question. I, I wonder if anybody has tried to breastfeed on Twitch. That would be pretty amazing. Uh, I certainly haven't. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say that. I have either. <laughs> uh, so the... Is that a to me, my X-Men? So Magic uh, moved further towards uh, Storm and so did Rogue? Correct. Correct. Good use of the card, considering that... Um... That's where the scroll is. That's really clever. Yeah. And it looks like we've got a rogue uh, activation as well and just did a charge. So. Yeah, it looks like Winter Soldier is getting all the attention. Nobody likes him anymore. Makes sense. You can't leave him up with that retaliation shot. Um, he's, to be fair, he's only got two power, so you could leave him alone to beat someone else up. But yeah, I think Winter Soldier is a pretty good target in this mm, case. Mm. No, not with that hit, though. Blech. No, true. And I probably wouldn't have put uh, so far forward because he'll get his Spitznik training. So oh, yeah. We will uh, defense dice. So Good point. I probably would have put a two away just to keep a bit of distance. 
Marcus, I'll tell you something about it. I saw a, a Twitch ad, YouTube ad, maybe YouTube ad for, for his OnlyFans. Yeah. OnlyFans ad, right? They're trying to tell me that they are a music lovers uh, site. Like you're... I, I've heard. That's the main. <laughs> that's the one main thing I hear about OnlyFans is that music fans, they're music lovers. It's just o- only music is what I hear about it. That's what it said. I think it said something like that, and I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, I that does annoy me. Like I'm, look, I'm pro sex work. I'll say it. And in that case, just lean into, lean into. Yeah. It. Leaning. It's obviously working. <laughs> yeah, support the people with supporting your platform. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, rogue. To be fair, uh, though, there is probably someone naked playing a guitar, so <laughs> it's kind of also music as well. So I think a uh, rogue completely uh, stumbled on both of her attacks, and no damage. Yeah, that, was, that was a bit of a rogue whiff, unfortunately. Mm. 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 That's, that's her only fan subscriber base has gone down. Indeed, it's done. Um, she still has a power, though. Um, so maybe one damage did get through. I'm looking at his characters. Oh, the hand... Well, no, the, I was going to say the, 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 the commandos, maybe. But they're st- still on the table, so... Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, not being able to take out those commandos either is... Not great. Sap. She's got sap. Thank you, gentlemen. Sap. Thank you. It's all good, Rambo Squirrel. <clears throat> Stay cool. Stay classy. Right. Um, where were we? OnlyFans. Yes, yes. Music service. Yes, yes, yes. Um, right. Um, ha- I wanted to appeal again to all the Zoomers out there who are watching. I know you, the Zoomer generation is the our, our prime demographic on this channel. And uh, as their leader, uh, Marcus, what what kind of advice could you give them about the heat wave we're experiencing now? Oh, um, stay indoors. Um, I know you've got your fancy dog bowl, bowls that you ironically have, even though you don't have a dog. So uh, <laughs> get get them out, fool them up, um, keep hydrated at all times. Is what I say. Uh, put on your fetching dog collar as well, which you got from Pets of Us. Um, j- just as a cheeky trip out with the lads, and uh, yeah, just keep safe. Keep... That's that's all I can say okay. to to my Zoom my Zoomer crew. Okay, sh- sh- how about appealing to you know disrupting the boomers in in leadership positions to maybe do something about the climate and hence remove these kind of heat waves? You, you... Oh, that sounds like too much work, Norbert. Uh, that sounds like a lot of work in the seat. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Sorry, this is... also true. Um, take take down the infrastructure. Destroy it all and uh, rebuild in a jungle paradise. Is what I say <laughs> to my to my Zuma people. Okay. Who we got? So rogues all gun. Who are we getting? It was the uh, it was the commandos. He, I saw the arrows. It was the commandos uh, did an attack, uh, probably on rogue. Uh, she's taking two points of damage, and I'm not sure there's Nick Fury now activating. That's a tasty hit from uh, the yeah. commandos, like commandos. taking minus one as well. I guess they get the rerolls, so. Right, so now uh, Nick Fury is in the range of the, I'd imagine, in range of that trap. Uh, but he's actually more interested in attacking Corvus Glaive. Mm, not Makes sure. Makes sense. He will be getting Carver, though, because he's only size 2. Um, so he might be on a big base, but he's still a slim boy. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, I see. So, yeah, cover. Yeah, good position for him. Yeah, very, very good position. Oh, but he's changed his mind. He's going to go ahead and okay. attack Rogue. <laughs> going to Rogue instead. Ooh, good hit. Christ. Oh. Wow. Nick Fury, not messing about. No. He just put a gun to Rogue's head. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah, this is a rated R film. Sorry. Oh, five, six, sorry. <laughs> this is not the Disney film that you came to for. Uh, six block one uh, even with the minus one from rogue that's four and she's out so oh, she's gonna take a little nap and a lot of power from um nick now which is great so he's got eye in the sky now set up which is good so to keep someone protected which is all good but um christian's kind of on the beat down right mm-hmm. yeah i mean you know he just has to hold on to that scroll yeah, that's all Chris Chris has to do. So yeah, Christian um, 
Iron of Sky is all great, but I think I believe you have to move away for Iron of Sky. So, mm. I will double check. I don't know whether there's a direction. Just take a look. Um, oh, this might be in your camera angle. Let me move us over a little bit. There we go. Let's try again. Um, target character makes a short advance. Anywhere then. So yeah, yeah you can Iron of Sky obviously closer. So. Storm is getting out. Oh, looked like she was getting out of dodge, but uh, changed his mind somehow. Or did he move her forward? Sorry, he moved her forward. Yeah, just replying to Chris in the chat. Um, does beer count as hydrating? Mm. Uh, scientifically and medically, no. But for the joke, yes. Drink lots of it, hydrate yourself up, <laughs> get you going. But no, Chris, it doesn't. It's the opposite. It's like dehydrating. Is is the opposite. I I remember as a kid. Um, do you know when you like parents tell you like little lies for your own sort of safety, um, which is normally okay, but at the time they didn't know I was autistic, and I take things very literally. <laughs> and uh, they told they told me because uh, I used to drink lots and lots of squash, like too much really, and they told me if I drank concentrated squash and too much squash, right, the squash would enter my body and dehydrate me, uh, and mummify me. Uh, so, uh, uh. got it. Times. Makes sense. Makes sense though. It's, you're kind of like does. Br bringing the squash up to normal cons uh, dilution. Uh. Yes, exactly. So did it work? Did you stop drinking that undiluted squash? Oh, no. I just became more of a maverick Norbert and just, uh, <laughs> just drunk just more, uh, more squash. <laughs> so in light of that tale, Chris, drink all the beer you want. Oh, I'm down in oh, this Oh, he is tonic. a good boy. So He's water as well. Ooh, I'm so thirsty. Okay, um, Chris is making a lot of decisions. He's moved uh, Storm up and yeah. um, has a three thing out, but I'm not sure where it's going. I don't know at this point. Um, maybe to take out, try to take out Nick Fury so he doesn't have an yeah. eye in the sky. Up that's, the what, that's it. That's what happened. He's attacking him. Bad hit. Bad hit. Which uh, Nick... Uh, he uh, he completely saves. No problem. Yeah, completely saves. Mm. And does he do a second attack? Some sort of push. Oh, Winter Soldier. I did die in the sky. Okay, cool. Now he's within two. So he could do his spender, I'd imagine. Does he have enough power? Um, no. One thing... Oh, it is an advance, so you can move and measure because it's not mm -hmm. a place, so this mm -hmm. is all fine. Mm -hmm. Which is another benefit of Iron of Sky because normally with reactive stuff, it's a place, right? So you can't measure things out. But with mm -hmm. an advance, you're all good to go. Okay. <clears throat> she still has one more attack, though, right? I think she moved. She moved up okay, and, and then attacked. It's a Winter Soldier into Storm. Yeah. Uh, this is just sort of the normal rifle attack, I imagine, right? <clears throat> but he gets, yeah. because he's within an inch, I think he gets to reroll something. Uh, she's taken a damage and gotten bleed. And a second, cool. attack, second attack going in. Uh, two hits, one save. So it looks like another hit going through. Yep. All right. Good start. It's interesting. I find that when Storm has to go like in the mix, it never goes well for her. No. I was playing against Cuddle uh, at the, no, the singles event two weekends ago now. And uh, oh, he's just outside of one, was he? So no rerolls. That's what we were. That's what I was wondering. Okay, thanks, Daryl. Well, he Darryl. rolled four dice as well, and not. Yeah. And he was using his normal rifle. He he didn't have the power no, okay. to do the uh, the spender. Yeah, he's got the rapid transfer. Hmm. I think she's done all right. Uh, one block, two damage. Should be one damage free. 
I think she did it. I think she was on two, so now she's on three. Possibly. Ooh, I don't uh, remember. I, I don't know. But it would look like she had a wild and then the dice changed, so. Mm. Um, but yeah, even one block here, she doesn't get the cover because he's within two. So. Mm -hmm. Now they're debating it. Thinking hard. Okay. Winter Soldier's done. Wasn't the greatest. Oh, here we go. Is that a move or? Because if it was a jump, he can't jump, right? Because he's holding an objective. So I don't know whether Daz wants to. Oh. Yeah. Gills... Unless he missed an objective run to someone else, but that isn't flipped. So. So who was the attack? Is this Corvus now? Um, yeah, Corvus into Winter Soldier. Um, there should just be one attack. Oof. He... But did well. God, look at that. It's two, effectively two crits and two... Yeah, two crits and yeah, wow, wow. it's a free hit. Which means I think he gets a flurry, right? What's the flurry trigger? <clears throat> Is a shield in a wild. Is it? Okay, so he's got it. Yeah, it's not a crit um, because he would too easily get it with the reality gem. Mm -hmm. So that's why they put the flurry to a shield, I believe, mm -hmm. in Corvus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Corvus cool. moving back. Why is this happening? So I think it's because he used uh, Storm's leadership. Where oh, he I see. Can't so he moved because... over, did an attack, and then and then um, used storm leadership to yeah. move back. Yeah. Well, no, because um, I think it's a restart of the turn altogether, because Corvus used storm's leadership while he's holding an objective. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and uh, he can't uh. do it when he's holding an objective. Got it. I think that might be why Darren was uh, yeah. away. Cool, cool, cool. That's why I just mentioned maybe to jump in. I think Darren did. So. Nice one. Okay, always learning something new on this channel. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, I completely forgot into uh, Gil um, recently um, said in the chat, and I just noticed. So. All right, so let's see what he decides to do instead. There's still options. Um, I guess missing objecting to Storm is a bit too risky right now. Looks like Christian is allowing him to redo activation with someone else. Magic. Hmm. This fella's been out of luck with these twos just outside of two there, so he can't use the leadership ability. Yeah, it's one of those things when you um, have to be so precise with your uh, placements for X Men, sometimes it can just fall apart a little bit. More than enough of times I realize I've put myself just out of two to do a um, Doctor Strange teleport or something similar. So it's easier enough done. Right. So we are going with Corvus instead. Yep. So it looks like he's just doing one move. Which is short because of the scroll. Yeah. And uh, I presume now. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you do a short move? Yeah, it was a short so. one. Definitely. Okay, great. Scroll is on Corvus, yeah. Yeah, very, very tanky. Chris, you are right, but obviously it does hinder his movement, especially when he wants to kill things and not necessarily be out there in the front. But yeah, you are right. Something happened with the players. The players just got kicked out of the room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Luckily, I'm the owner of the room, so it's all cool. So that's good. You're the master. You're keeping, <laughs> Keep keeping, you're keeping it together. Keeping this together. Maybe we get the... Uh, ah. What's the chat? What does the chat think about this game so far? I think it, I think it's been a couple of misplays. Not misplays so much, but, you know, just like being out just a little bit so to make things work perfectly. The missed opportunities yeah. doing that. Uh, wildly successful um, find by Corvus on the scroll. 
Yeah, he's great to have the scroll because if people are going to come try to beat him up, he'll just beat them up instead. Um, Definitely. Or he's got mission objective. He could give it to Storm and have her just run away. Not a bad thing. Preserve her her leadership ability. Mm -hmm. And both um, of Christian's like main DPSs are kind of activated for the term. Like hmm. Nick Fury's done on that um, flank. So is Winter Soldier. Uh, obviously a hot Iron Man, but he hasn't got um, a Helios laser or anything like that. So. No. That's a good point. So it's Venom and Nick Fury that are his beaters, aren't they? Well, Iron Man's okay, but not, not as um, good. Yeah, Bullseye as well is a, a, a good cleaner upper, right? He's sort of that clean man where if they're only on two damage left, then he's perfect because auto two damage and they're definitely dead. So, but in general, yeah, the other, like I said, the other big beat stick is Venom, and he's only a short move. And yeah, he's over on the other flank, and so. he's in the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, and he's not a shield member either, so he can't shield mobile. Ah. Okay, let's take a look here. Shield. An allied shield character can spend three to play this card. Character gains flight. And yeah. uh, for the round, actually. And uh, yeah. mo moves along. Excellent. What's the name of Corson's car? Is it Ruby? Oh, I don't car? know. Is it? <laughs> I think so. I think it's Ruby. So you get the keys to Ruby. <laughs> you get to uh, take it for a bit of a joy ride. That sounds like something Samuel L. Jackson would call his car. Ruby. A hundred percent. And you're right, Chris. Um, Iron Man only has one power, so he can't even talk to his uh, AI girlfriend to give him a couple extra dice. So <laughs> he is left out to dry. But yeah, it's, it's still very interesting. Yeah, very much open now. Um, I am wondering if um, with that scroll, should he be running away? Should he be trying to beat up people? Because he doesn't have a lot of support up here, uh, the X Men player. Rogue stays. Well, storms yeah, at done. the moment he doesn't. But like I said, Norbert, you're right. But um, the only real attack is uh, Iron Man, who has just a four dice energy attack, mm. and Corvus obviously takes one less damage. So chip, like chip attacks, like anything four dice or less, he's not really worried about. Black Widow as well hasn't really got any big hitters, so. For the moment, and also um, Chris is keeping priority, and he's got Rogue with nine power at the start of the turn to really go ham. So, let's see if they're having trouble. Just make sure they're not lost in the void. Yeah. <laughs> You know, with the, the heat, all the power lines are sagging, the internet lines are sagging, the train rails yeah. are, are buckling. Like I said before, there uh, I think there was like a CME solar flare or something. It was there? Be, uh, yeah, there was a CME 4, level 4. Um, I've what is, got what a, does that a guy, mean? Um, a guy at work tried to explain it to me, Norbert. And basically... It's not the solar flares, which basically gives, I think the sun gives off radiation that hits the planet all the time and it can do certain things, but normally it just does nothing. Uh, but a CME is a stronger one of those and can affect uh, electronics and so on and different things like that. But so, so far, I think we're good. But I'm not a scientist and he explained it to me and my eyes nearly glazed over into my head. <laughs> I, try, I tried my best. I was engaging. I was like, Oh, well, that's interesting, and nodded. And I continued with my work. So uh, it says uh, they, they can't seem to find the server for some reason. Oh. So I'm going to try to save the board state and re create a new room. So let's see oh. if I know how to do that, though. <laughs> Does anybody know how to do that? Uh, hmm. Well, let me first turn this off. Uh, turn off stream review. Close this. How do you save the game? Saved objects. Configure. Mm. Games. Yeah, so spectator cannot interact. 
to make it red. Hmm. Anybody in the chat know how to save a game? Let's make sure I can save this game. Yeah, I can't see anything from anyone yet. I know there's a way to do it. It does it automatically. Uh, the question is, is how do you do it um, manually? Manually. Save. Ah, save. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Save. I'm going to call this one uh, week three. All right. Great. And hopefully they can connect to the source. Let's see if that worked. I'll just double check it. No, that did not work. I'm going to try again. Oh, now, now I... Oh, let me try it again. Week Oop. three. Uh, did it save? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it did. Good. So now let me make a new server. Main menu. Yes. Okay. Let me... So I'm telling it to go to a main menu. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry, everybody. I'm not sure what happened here. They all got kicked out of the game room and then couldn't find the server anymore. So I'm not the sure. Gremlins the gremlins. There's a gremlins. It's a it's a it's a party goblin. I was watching this uh, comedian. She's fantastic. Uh, Eliza, sorry, Eliza. Uh, let's see. She's on a lot of Netflix specials. Eliza is a long surname. Eliza Sh uh, Schlesing Schlesinger. Do you know her? No, I don't. I'll give her a Google. Let's see if I can create this now again. That's, you know, right. You're right, Joe Man G84. One thing, incredible name. Congratulations <laughs> on that. Uh, MCP is too pure uh, a force for the internet to contain. You're right. All right. Let me get back up again. Ah, Gil knows who I'm talking about. Amazing. So I watched her. Marcus, uh, you're, you, you're, an old, you're you used to be a professional comedian, so you maybe you appreciate this. It was, uh, it was a special with Jane Fonda and Lily Thompson. Is that her name? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they were terrible. Um, sorry. They, they were just, they were like supposed to be ho hosting this like, com comedian Some, thing. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you, sometimes you bomb. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they were hosting this thing, so we had to kind of endure them. But anyway, they had, like, all these women uh, comics that they were giving a chance to, and um, they um, uh, uh, she, they were only doing, like, 10-minute bits, right? Yeah. And so, anyway, Eliza did one um, for, for her 10-minute bit. was killer. I mean, she just killed. It was so great. And, um, okay, so let me be careful here. Uh, and so because of that, then I went ahead to Netflix and uh, saved all the ones that she did uh, specials on her own. Amazing. I love it when it happens when you just tune into a random comedy uh, like showcase. Yeah. And, like a comedian really connects with you and you just go, yeah, I'll watch everything they do. See how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Let me tell them to try now. Hopefully this works. Okay, that's one person in the good room. Okay. Could you share your screen with me again? As oh, well? yes. Oh, Thank you right. for mentioning it. That's all right. No problem. Bring it back in. Cool. While they're loading in, how good was the mini extravaganza? Model? Oh, my goodness. I, I honestly didn't think there would be that much more to talk about. No. I was like, okay, the first one, because of the plague, you weren't able to do. But we still got good stuff, and it was good. Yeah. But yeah, out of nowhere, um, Sentinels. Um, yeah. Uh, wh what else? Um, we had uh, the 
train pack that's also an ultimate encounter where Red's going his giant tank, which I want to see more of. Mm. Like, I like my train, mm. and I would like that price tag to have some stuff with it. For it to be able to also be some rules attached to it, amazing. Yeah. That... Exactly oh, I, I think they were going to do an ultimate encounter out of those pieces. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so right, right, get, right, cool. Like, yeah, yeah, you get the tank, you get the pieces, and you get ultimate encounter. So not only do you get train but you also get some rules, which is great. Right. We are back in business. Thanks, everybody, for putting up with that. Not sure what happened. I blame the heat. Yeah. Party got uh, Gremlins heat. All right. So Corvus sealed the deal on Winter Soldier. That is no surprise. And uh, yeah. he is now dazed. Uh, and that should be the end of Corvus because he had a move to get there. Quinn just yes. got booted from his game too. Thank you, Mid-Table Security. That makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. Quinn deserves it, though. And that's what's important for everyone to know. PHP Chrono, which Nikki are you talking about? Oh, Nikki Glazier. Okay, okay. Her roasts. Her roasts are good. Yes. Okay, I'll look up to her. I think you're right. I'll have to tell you. I do like roasts. They are so vicious. I, I It appeals to me. Do you like ro the roast style comedy? I, I do enjoy it. I struggle sometimes with some people because I'm just like, wow, you that's too far, I think. But that's the whole point of a roast. I think if I didn't have chronic anxiety, I would like it more. But sometimes I'm just like, oh, wow, <laughs> that's real, that's real. that would make me cry. Yeah, so, it's, um, they're usually so vicious. They are very, very savage. Um, I've but... had some friends that have done uh, the British roast. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. And have done really well, so. And um, they said that's a lot of fun, so. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have some thick skin. Um, so yeah, try to find some Eliza. So if you can, Marcus, just find the Lily. It's news, so it should be quick to find on on uh, Netflix. But find the Lily Thompson Jane Fonda special and just check her. Well, you can check all the comedians out. I would fast forward through all of the two hosts doing their thing it's terrible right okay cool that but, makes sense man eliza is uh whew, she was so good smashed it yeah right, she smashed so it, it. Like black widow has moved long to get on to uh chris's back point uh she's successfully taken the mutant and i believe she's still within two of storm to have a little punch as well yeah that looks about right yeah so she's moved there flipped it and is she gonna do the attack let's see Yeah, here they come with the dice. Omnis was calling S.H.I.E.L.D. the regular sl slash boring human faction. I know somebody who's actually trying to do... Um, was it Avengers or S.H.I.E.L.D.? He was just trying to use like normal humans as just all the normal characters. normal humans. <laughs> uh, I think they're boring. I think, I guess, the character... Characters are boring if you don't like them, but someone out there thinks... Black Widow's fancy, right? <laughs> and thinks I, you know, Tony Star is a rock star, so Tony Stark <laughs> is a rock star, so it's all in the eye of the beholder. But when it comes to their tricks, I think they're less than boring. I think they've got some really interesting movements in that shenanigans. Right. So Black Widow was able to do an extra damage onto Storm, but she is not dazed yet. Mm, not yet, but that helps She's her get to away. where she needs to be. So. <laughs> right. We've got magic now. Ooh, taking a look where he, she might end up. Uh, I don't... Yeah, it's a shame that Storm isn't closer to that um, mutant madman because she would daze uh, from the damage. So Down here we have Beast and Magic, Venom, and Bullseye. Bullseye is very likely going to just stick down, down there. But, uh, but uh, Venom is the issue. He's wasting a lot of potential down there. Yeah, four threats on the flank, right? Trying to maintain a yeah. So Christian's got six threat versus six. So yeah, we'll see. Oh, and the mini six extravaganza. Of course, how could you forget Malekith? Oof. Yeah, those rules. Wow. Yeah, those <laughs> rules. Which we'll be yeah. able to play uh, next week, season four. Or, I mean, season eight. Oh, I week expect four. to see many of that little twinky dark elf <laughs> on, a, on a giant <laughs> winged tiger, my friends. <laughs> Twinky, uh, Winky Dark Elf, uh, but yeah, <laughs> and I can say that, but um, yeah, it's just oh man, he's just so gross. I was watching Quinn and Ron the other day just practicing out 
and to see what you can do and it's gross right magic's moved over a little bit unfortunately she had a move to get into range of venom uh, did she move or did she pay a power to teleport oh okay she probably teleported herself through limbo yeah nice one <clears throat> and um i thought of her dice being thrown but now i don't see any on the acolyte side no not only is he hit like a freight tame, but he, uh, Malekith, that is, uh, he has got severe mobility. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, ferocity. It, someone, I saw someone else say, and I completely agree with them. It's like someone went, right, okay, let's give Malekith every single good rule we've designed so far. Let's just give him everything we consider to be good. Mm -hmm. Let's give him a charge and make it better. Let's give him dominoes, um, turn, scores into crits. Um, defense, yeah. Right. Let's give him every single weapon attack. That was uh, Venom um, uh, defending well against magic. He's not taking any damage at all. Yeah, which is really good because I assume she used the um, Osha attack, so which was energy. So we only had uh, two two dice. So did very very well there. No, dice to dice. Yeah. Right, and this looks like the leadership ability. No, or is it a card? Journey through Limbo, maybe? Uh, you have to be in three, and she has to have three power. So. Yeah, no. so it's just the X-Men ability. All right, she's uh, moving a little further towards Bullseye. Not sure mm -hmm. the purpose of that, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, and Journey of Limbo has to be played in her turn as well. So. Mm -hmm. Got it. That's true, Glenn. Uh, no one will complain about Thanos anymore. I'm sure they won't. Uh, I did play a Damami player, and they were very upset with um, Malika in regards to well, yeah. what, what, what boy needs. Damami is. is very sad. He, he's a beautiful model, but man, does he, yeah. he needs a little help. <laughs> he needs help. And I, I think I don't know. Um, I've tried a bit with Damami. I'm no way like so, someone considered that you should really listen to. But I think a lot of times people try to buff Damami where I think you look at it of there are lots of characters coming out now which are very good with more power. And that's what Damami does to them very well. So mm -hmm. maybe he gets better with the better selection of characters he gets. But Yeah, possibly. We have a friend but... in the London club who uh, every time something else and something new comes out or somebody talks about some kind of character, he immediately says, well, let me think about how that could be with Damamu. <laughs> it's just always he's got to try to figure out if it can help with Damamu because he loves Damamu. <laughs> yeah. I think Black Swan with Damamu is great because she doesn't need the power gem. Mm. You just take her with, uh, yeah, just as a four, four threat with an extra, down, uh, extra power. All right, that's Iron Man moving on. Speaking of the London Club, there are still one or two tickets left for our tournament on this Saturday at Bad Moon Cafe, very near to Borough Station, or not that far from London Bridge, and um, or Waterloo, for the matter. So if you feel like coming down Saturday morning, four games, great new challenger-type rules, please do come. Amazing. Yeah, go and support that. I haven't been, but I've met a lot of the London guys at... Uh, Sasha and uh, Pat and the Kapow and everyone, and they are lovely. So thank you. You'll be welcomed. Yeah. So Iron Man moved up, and then he did an attack into Corvus. He did it one point of damage. Um, and I'm guessing he gets to push him as well now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to see the push. Mm, no problem. Doing it like a professional, showing that he, uh, because he was touching Storm's base, he had to make sure that he didn't incline the model any closer to Storm as he moved him. Okay. Very, very good. I had that happen to me. It was a kind of a negative player experience. It was uh, playing War Machine, right? And the guy had uh, his deployed all his models, like say a bunch of solos, uh, in a row, right? Right one next to one another. And in... Yeah. In War Machine, you're not allowed to cross other bases, right? When you're moving your character. Anyhow, he wanted to take the middle model 
and move it like diagonally across the table, basically. Why? Okay. And uh, I said, look, I, I'm sorry, but the, the, the only way that model can move right now is straight ahead because you, you, you're going to touch either. And he, he was not happy about that at all. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's the rule. <laughs> it was like, it was weird. It was a unit. So all he had to do was move one of the other ones first. Uh, yeah. which I told him I was trying to tell him but he was just so upset about it at that point he gave up yeah. <laughs> I was like okay sometimes when you just like get so salty you can't hear the voices yeah. but that is a great plug for your new merch t-shirt which is <laughs> your face with two thumbs up which is it's bad and it feels bad <laughs> thumbs up thank you the yeah. new Norbert shirt coming we're going to add that to the subscription uh, that I'm going to set up here yeah incidentally people my, my, my Zoomer friends uh, I was going to set up subscriptions on this channel, not to make any money, but I thought it was a way to help uh, people not have to view ads. You know, like I thought if you subscribe to it, that. You, but I think I'm so, so, uh, I'm not going to say unpopular, but I'm going to say undiscovered that it doesn't. Undiscovered, it's true. <laughs> that it doesn't, it doesn't bother to show any ads regardless. Your views do well within the community, Norbert. <laughs> they do good. You have lovely people here in the chat today supporting you. It's so, good. yeah. So I, I, I asked some people. They said they don't actually see any ads, uh, which was my main concern. So I didn't bother with the subscription thing because it wanted a ton of financial information out of me. And I'm like, look, I'm, Why? Okay. I, I, I'm just doing this for the people. I, I don't need this, this aggravation. Indeed. What did Beast do over in the corner? Oh, you know? beg your pardon. Uh, Beast... What? Yeah, he looked like he probably vaulted. Moved up and punched uh, Venom a couple of times, I think. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, and flipped the trap. See, it's sex men. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a lad. That's good. So, <laughs> yeah, it looks like he moved up through Bullseye, I would say, to get him off the point. And then, uh, yeah, punched um, Venom. Yeah. Uh, Venom on two hit points out of seven, so no problem. But let's see how much. So so Chris has completely his roster is completely done. That yeah. leaves unfortunately leaves Venom and Bullseye there. I'm not sure that was such a great idea. He could have passed at least once. Could have done. So Venom's got enough power to just pick up Beast and throw him, and then take that point. Yeah. Uh, well, well, you need to find a power for somewhere, but Bullseye could always do that. Um, he could uh, pull beast towards him but it does mean that beast is closer towards that center than closer towards corvus i don't know whether you want to do that or not but can he throw things i think he just uh, there's a he can throw things yeah he's got clintar rage oh. rage of clintar i never seen him throw stuff i think he just threw that yeah. crate at, at uh using my mind palace i think it's free power size free range to throw medium wow sure. oh yeah I remember now people impressed with that throw medium. Size three. What's the th yeah. what's the length P PHP? It's, it's medium, is it? Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I know his pull is uh, obviously medium, whereas Gwen's is only short. All right, bullseye into beast, I guess, or no, into magic. It's magic. I actually want to mind it into beast, right? Mm -hmm. so we does two damage and then the auto generated one knocks him out. So, ooh, good hit. He does have some power for stars and garter though. But... So, wow! So free damage into. I think it's beast, because magic's untouched. Uh, he yeah, could have beast. stars and garter, right? Did he stars and garter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, but he's days now. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Oof. So does Bullseye now? Bullseye mm. moves up to take the point. Well, he could take both potentially. Does he have uh, two power? No, he's he got one move, right? Yeah. Beast is having a little nap. Yeah, but couldn't he move up to just you know at the, the far side of the the his trap? You could have Venom, which I kind of like. You could, because you still got Venom to activate. So oh, you could right. move okay, Bullseye yeah. now, take um, back uh, his point, hopefully, on uh, yeah, Free Dice. Yep. But he would have to move him there. Did you move him? He's definitely, I don't think he's within one where he is. No.
Let's see. This is an important move. Unless that was Venom? Possibly. I think it was Venom. Yeah, it wasn't Bullseye. Yeah, okay. Cool. So Bullseye could easily double move now and get it. Ah, uh, yeah. And that would give Christian four traps or three? Yeah, four. Oof. Yeah. It's a shame that piece of terrain is in the uh, backside as well because... Could you just move the camera angle back into the... The bottom. Uh, I think yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah, I was just trying to see if yeah, the other trap if was... Yeah, he was within two of that centre bit, he could throw it, get rid of it, and then push magic towards him. Yeah. Looks like he's still doing it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Makes sense. It does make sense. I think it's a good thing to do. But yeah, if he was able to get rid of this, like pick it up, throw at her, mm -hmm. and then move. But the dream, if it wasn't there, was to move her and then throw her even further away. To do a pull and then a throw medium, which would be, yeah, pretty much a stagger at that point. But magic does have that teleport, so it is hard to displace her, but... Uh, I didn't talk about the best model that was uh, announced that um, Mini Extravaganza, though, Norbert. Okay, the Blob. Yes, Norbert! <laughs> my boy! <laughs> Woo! I love Blob. He's my favourite. Uh, I absolutely adore him. My favourite is in episode one of season two of the X-Men 90 show, where the Blob is at a carnival and he's eating ice cream. He's right. got a big tub of ice cream. Right. And Storm turns up. And he just throws his ice cream at Storm and goes, you stole my ice cream. And it's like, well, you didn't, Blob. You gave it to her. Like, you, you threw your ice cream at Storm. Yeah, but he, he she it. made him do it. Don't you get it? I, I guess so. <laughs> That's what's implied. But yeah, I love Blob. <laughs> anyway, that was uh, Bullseye shooting magic. And now uh, moving forward, I would have thought he went for the double move. And I would have. Uh, it looks like he is. So. Oh, so why did why did Magic get bleed? Did um, maybe Venom hit her? Did he have a second attack? Maybe that's what it was. Oh, hit and run. That's why Norbert. Mm. <clears throat> uh, he's got hit and run, so he would have paid two power for the hit and run. Right. To attack, gain a power, then move, then move, and then be able to nice. manipulate this. Nice. Wow. Here. Good big turn for Chris John. Uh, yep. Looks like he'll get four points to Chris's two, which brings him just ahead by one point going into turn three. Yeah, we will be turn. Uh, PHP Chrono uh, has a quote for you. Uh, uh, Storm saying, Storm, you know what lightning does to a blob. <laughs> the same thing it always does. Wow. <laughs> same thing to everything else. <laughs> <laughs> good old blob right I'm gonna... I want him to have uh, damage reduction and then also kingpins pay one as well mm. is what I want him to have yeah. probably won't I'm going to get another beverage to stay hydrated yeah you crack on I can uh, keep an eye uh, on the sky over here so yeah I hope everyone's doing good in the chat this is a lot more manoeuvring than I think. I think it's going to be very close to the end in this one. It's going to be very hard to displace uh, Corvus with the mission objective. Yeah. So it looks like Chris is going through the early rogue activation, which I think is a great thing to do. He's got plenty of targets with low um, energy to try to sap it off and do a load of damage using an ability. Yeah, so it looks like she's charged and used her spender. She started with nine power at the top of the turn, so. Uh, Eye in the Sky from uh, Winter <sighs> Soldier, it looks like. Okay, catch me up. Yeah, so uh, Chris activated Rogue. Uh, Rogue did an attack and I believe went into a spender into Winter Soldier. It looks like uh, Nick is paying free power to do um, uh, Iron Sky and move um, Winter Soldier out of the way. I noticed that Sasha cool. is in the chat. Sasha, one of my buddies from London, <clears throat> loves wearing a Hawaiian shirt. He's got many of them. So this is for you, buddy. 
Hawaiian shirt. It's true. I've seen um, Sasha in his Hawaiian shirts mm. and mm. always stunning. <laughs> true, true. Stunning is the word. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like he's iron skied away. Uh, so does that card keep coming back? Yeah, so as long as you're shield affiliated in orbit, mm -hmm. um, you get it back every turn. So. Uh, uh, that's a good thing, uh, Gil. Um, Southern hospitality is not spent. Oh, so she, she was the one who did the attack on... Um, who... Yeah, so she should get that power back. So who'd she attack? So she attacked when... So she did a charge. Yep. Attacked when the soldier. Right. And then... Um, did Southern also Hospitality. Did, uh, Southern Hospitality, but it looks like... But did he... Oh, yeah. are they just rolling the damage now? Uh, into something else, I believe. Oh, because he Cause didn't take it. Because she gets the action back, right? So... Oh. oh, I see, because he, he can do it as a react, and so she didn't do attack. Yeah, okay, yeah. got it. Right, so she took that attack and threw it into uh, um, Nick Fury, who takes, takes three out of six damage. But you're right, even if she gets the action back, she should have the power spent, if that's indeed what the attack was. Yeah, oh. but um, even if it's not spent, it doesn't matter if she does <clears throat> summon the hospitality onto Nick, right? It's her just still spending it, but spending it onto Nick instead. So, so he's played indomitable, so he doesn't get thrown. Um, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, that's all good, but she's got another throw anyway, and another punch so i don't think nick's going to be standing up any any further anyway yeah sure to be honest. so maybe it would have been good to let that go but i guess it makes her use another attack instead of on somebody else ah gill's saying that eye in the sky works on targeting so you don't spend the power well yeah yeah that's that's good to know i didn't know that yeah gill's right on that one Oh, not a great hit from uh, Rogue there. No, she hasn't. I, I haven't found her to be terribly good, too. Everybody was raving about her. And I had her on the two weekends ago. And Yeah. Mm. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how, how it fashions out now. Because she's got, yeah. So either a throw or her um, sat power. Yeah, it looks like a throw. Yeah, and he's braced it. <laughs> wow. <And that's>, wow. <laughs> okay. Nick's not taking any of her bullshit. I guess the other thing he could have done is um, done her sap power. Uh, um, I can't remember what it's called, but the ability oh, uh, where you roll yeah, this yeah. and you take absorb, power. Absorb energy, energy or something like that. Yeah, Yeah, because he only had one power, so... Mm. Good point. But I, again, I, I, I've done that one, and I roll like one hit, and it's just like... Meh. Yeah. Oh, that water's refreshing. Woo wee. Refreshing water. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about it, Eye in the Sky with uh, Winter Soldier is fantastic. Because you get out of the range, you target someone else, you daze them, and then Winter Soldier's in the position to get a shot back at you. So, Eddie, hey, uh, for all the listeners out there, I got an early warning message from the Italians. Italians are looking to put on a two-day event in mid to late October. Uh, no more details just yet, but they wanted to know if that sounded good. I told them to, uh, as far as I know, it seemed good. I said to avoid the early October because some people might be going to that London GT thing. Um, but um, middle to late October would be fabulous. So be on the lookout for something in northern Italy uh, towards the end of the year. Yeah, that'd be amazing if I can afford it and get some flights i'll definitely be there the other thing we've got uh our two day uh in the southwest on november the 26th and 27th as well. ah right okay is that uh, that's just after thanksgiving so perfect <laughs> right you work off the turkey and, uh, <laughs> you can work off the turkey <laughs> work off that turkey uh, what's the food situation like at your event um so there's lots of uh fast food and different restaurants all throughout uh crediting 
and sometimes they get caterers and stuff in as well like mm-hmm. A, mm-hmm. but do they have like, chips obviously. do they have chips they do have chips for quinn which right. is good right right because you can you can't handle anything spicy yeah and we respect that because we're yeah you, you, a no, welcoming community. we're not gate keeping the, the, your event no. <laughs> are we no definitely not <laughs> But there will be a big enough gate for him to get through. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quinn, Shots Quinn fired. Shots fired. To be fair, the gate is also for me. So. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 sizable for Quinn only because I needed to fit through it myself. Yeah, exactly. It's only sizable for Quinn because I'm bigger and therefore need to fit for it. Yes, PHP Chrono, the fries. Yeah, big the big thick type of fries is chips here. Uh, Winter Soldier's blown up Corvus. Who's got the scroll? He's going to be tar- enemy number one. Public enemy number one, I'm sure. Yeah, and I don't think anyone's within two for mission and objective either, because it is two, not three, right? That's mission right, two. two. Two, two, two. Yeah, so now is the perfect time to try to take him down. Oh, and he's getting there. <laughs> Look at the, you all excited. Uh, rapid... <laughs> I know, I'm excited. I, I don't like Corvus. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes Corvus. I need him to go down. Um, but yeah, this is the rapid fire attack. Um, got some painting done during the heat wave, which was not easy because the paint kept drying weird. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, it was really. I had a wet even palette. On a, I had a wet palette. Say, even on a wet palette and as the, well. And the wow. reservoir, the wet palette kept drying out. I would look at it, and there'd be like no water in it again. I'm like, oh my god, it's so hot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got a lot of stuff painted. Right. Corvus took one more point of damage after all that. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> he went from two to three. He still got three left. Indeed. He's uh, still got another attack though, right? Because that was just a rapid fire attack. Uh, I heard no, yeah, but um he's clicked it off, so uh, we must have missed it somehow. Okay. Ooh. Uh what's left? Hmm, who's next? Who's next? It's over to Chris's side, Alkalite. Corvus going to get in the action. Yeah, Corvus with ten powers. Ah, never a good Winter place. Soldier days storm first. That's what happens. Ah, right. Okay, great. Nice, which is a great move. You know, um, she doesn't do a lot maybe on the table, but her leadership is so fabulous. So it's always good to get rid of her as soon as you can. Yeah, and like um, Blin says, um, the cover was helping Corvus there, obviously, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. giving an extra block. So. Yeah, as I know, playing Darren several times, Corvus with ten power is a terrifying. <laughs> yeah, he just he yeah, just okay. he does everything he wants to do. Yeah, I don't think he's in range though to get a, a spender straight off, which is good. I don't think Winter Soldier's going free. All right, not sure who's being attacked, but we hear dice rolling. Oh, there he goes. It's uh, Corvus attacking. Oh yeah, Black, Black Widow. There, so, yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, two crits, though, for her saves. Uh, and one blank, which she gets because she's within two. So three saves against just two hits. Yeah. No, sorry. Three hits with the damn s- 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 uh, skull crit. Yeah. So and one, um, two, three, four. Right. So Corvus she'll, gets to, she'll Corvus take one. Corvus gets a flurry as well. Um, oh. because... And his move. Yeah, he gets a move. But then he can do the flurry afterwards because the stove becomes a crit right which then gives him the trigger for the flurry so. okay cool 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 he's moved up closer to winter soldier looks like yeah yeah php we're we're wondering about that too how storm got pushed into the mix really early on but i think it was in that stage of the game, it was to help Corvus uh, jump around and um, get into the scroll. Sasha's yeah, sure su- suggesting that uh, he's lucky he didn't daze. Yeah, I was about to say that. Black um, Widow. Sasha. Yeah, with uh, not dazing, that means that um, Winter Soldier can't do his retaliation shots. So uh, gotcha. Ooh. That's a massive hit. One, two, three, four, five. 
hits all into Black Widow <laughs> for her troubles. But now oh, it should be uh, does mean... Winter Soldier, yeah. yeah. He will get the retaliation shot, so let's see. And I think he's within two now, so he won't get cover from Storm. And he's flipped the um, trap. And he's going to leap over Storm. Man, he's all over the place. X-Men, man, that That's ability. Good. They've really come into their own now. You were saying about no, Joe. What's that? Well, we can't do that again because he's holding an objective. So oh, gosh. Like, they keep forgetting that. Yeah, now he's yeah, put it back again. So <laughs> it's after. He's already done the move. He's done the flurry. So that should be all attacks of his own. So Winter Soldier should be getting his attack. Mm -hmm. but I think Christian might have forgot it. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame. Yeah. A real shame because, well, maybe now he's thinking about it. I don't, he did roll dice, so I don't know. There it goes. Now he spent the oh, power, okay. so he's remembered now. And I think he was within two, even after the mm. little push, so he won't be getting further. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. Uh, not a great hit, but no saves either, amazingly. Bleh. So he's going to take one, I think, from that. So he's on four out of six. Uh, uh, he'll get another attack as well because of rapid fire. Did he get the trigger for rapid fire? I believe he got a strike, didn't he? Okay. Yeah. That's better. Three hits. That's better. Uh, Could take him out. Uh, three saves. No. no. Nice. Um. <laughs> You're talking about Jumanji. Uh, do you, do you, see, you saw the Jumanji films, I imagine, right? I, I have indeed. Yeah, yeah. I love the little, um, the NPC, like, uh, uh, expedition guy who says, Welcome to Jumanji. Such a Welcome great actor. Jumanji. Amazing. <laughs> it is great. I love the, there was a Nickelodeon cartoon show, Jumanji, as well. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love Bizarrely, my wife doesn't like action films, but for some reason, Jumanji she likes. <laughs> and so we get to go see Jumanji. <laughs> um, that's Nick Fury dazed. Yep. Um, he was run free to do another spender and he had enough dice. So, uh, Did he get the trigger? Yes, he did. He got a trigger for a flurry as well. So, God, Jesus. Yeah. And it looks like he wasn't even using um, the count blanks either. So, so who's left over he's... here? Nick Fury's dazed Iron Man. Iron Man, uh, oof, doesn't roll much. Well, he hasn't had good dice, but uh, he certainly Corvus is certainly cleaning up. Yeah. What a, what a this is what I talk about with um, Morgan Dad all the time. Like, yeah. He doesn't need good dice. Like, if you've got enough power. He will get another shot, though. From Winter Soldier. Mm. Oh, here we go. Uh, eh. Free damage, blocking one. Reduce one, one damage through. Yeah. Still not taste the son of a bitch. Here's the uh, the flurry or the wild rapid fire. That's a good hit. Three hits there. Um, uh, one, two. Reduce by one. Blocks, though. Yeah, he should have got one. him. Yeah, yeah, got him. Got him. Yeah, this is huge. This is really why huge. Pete Winter Soldier is just the greatest right now. And he was so yeah. sad before his changes. And now look at him. He had what we call in the community a glow up. <laughs> you see, he's glowing. <laughs> that's right, that's right sasha blam is the correct term. yeah he we, just we can see this comic book it'd be so cool if somebody would be able to draw a comic book uh based off of one of these battles that'd be fun that would be a lot of fun right well corvus was cleaning up until he got his clock cleaned by <laughs> winter uh, soldier 
My yeah, God. and storms knocked out. Yeah. So yeah, he's got no one to mission objective to. So no, no. So it's sitting up there, and Iron Man uh, could pick it up without any problems. A- anyone can pick it up over there. Right? No, I'm just saying uh, who's up there though. It's Nick Fury's um, oh. dazed. He needs a dazed token. So does um, Black Widow. Maybe Darren can yeah, get in there true. and give him a give him a holler. Right, <clears throat> uh, Venom into Beast. It looks like. Yeah, because you don't need to uh, worry about over there. I don't think anyone can get there. So. Apparently, he could get. He could have given it to Rogue. Rogue is. Uh, you're right. Thank you. He Rogue's standing right there and uh, just oh, yeah. activated. Hmm. Yeah, that is strange. I don't know why Rogue hasn't got it. Because she could have withstood Iron Man beating her up for sure. Oof. Yeah, definitely. Super risky play with Corvus. Uh, Sasha says, uh, "Yeah, we'll have to ask about that." Yeah, I think the reason why it was so risky, Sasha, is because he just wasn't targeting Winter Soldier. Like, if he targeted Winter Soldier and made sure that he went down and then used the medium to get out of there afterwards, I think he would have been fine. Yeah, I, I thought he was actually moving up to take out Winter Soldier. You know, that's usually your target priority, number one. Yeah, and I think hitting Black Widow first to, to then get in is risky, but I think valid for the first hit. But then to attack days move in day someone else knowing that winter soldiers there with 10 power yeah I, I think that was a bit of a bit of risk in this play there right beast yeah spent a bunch of power um oh is this journey through limbo no no because it's just within it's a three kind of thing so why is she why is she being moved? uh i think this is from venom's ah uh thing but i would say the angle looks a bit off there mm, it did look a little off you're right yeah i think the angle should have probably been a little bit more straight but okay um hmm. no you're right actually you did have full health um before the second action there's Venom taking magic out. Oof. <laughs> Look at all those bleeds <laughs> on the X-Men yeah, side. <laughs> Which currently is going to only affect Beast if he survives because, yeah, everyone else is nicely chomped. He's really got to be... Chris has got to be really careful going to Venom now as yeah. he's got... Eight power, so he can do a snow, uh, so many snacks. Yeah, loads of times. Uh, yeah, I believe it's only once per turn, but once per turn is enough when you can be big hit back. So, Christian um, throwing beast now. Yeah, I don't know. They're really sloppy about the days tokens on both sides of the table. Not sure. Yeah. And that's Venom done. That leaves us uh, with bull. There they go, Bullseye and Beast on the side of the table. Yeah, Nick should have a Days token as well, right? Um, Black Widow. Beast moves back into position, but with the trap. And looks like he might be leapfrogging over magic, maybe? Indeed. No, it looks like he's going to attack um, Venom. No, yeah. flip the trap. No, I throw four dice. Yeah, yeah, and he got the two. Nice. Yeah, he can ambush, place himself within one, throw Bullseye off the point and take it. Mm-hmm. Which isn't bad at all. No. The Bullseye can walk back onto it, or the back one. Unless he throws him Bullseye further to the right. Yeah, or just directly behind him, right? Yep. Yeah. Sure.
do you have any tips, Norbert, to survive this heat wave? Anything I should be doing? Well, not really in this country. I mean, uh, there's <laughs> there's not a lot of infrastructure, like you said. I mean, to me, it's all about, um, you know, cooling off the house as much as you can overnight, then close all the curtains and the and the windows as much as crazy as that sounds uh to stop the heat from getting in yeah um find some boomer with air conditioning and be their plaything. i suppose would be another way to go <laughs> that's true <laughs> it's terrible here dude i'll go, I'll go on to my local my <laughs> local neighbor chat and see hey <laughs> local zoomer looking for boomer with air conditioning <laughs> um today php it hit 39 celsius so let me convert that for you 39 oops that's great for uh talking about the game chris has managed to take both points 102 degrees fahrenheit today no ac you just like uh yeah that's really high yeah and not the fun kind of high sadly uh so so what ended up happening so be, did beast do the leapfrog over magic and then just move yeah so uh beast moved up into um yeah i don't think he really needs to leap for but anyway he can just move oh no i think he did need to get a fair but so yeah so he moved up to the back point next to venom um, tried to get it, flip back. It looks like Bullseye's going to try to do the same thing. Yep. Yeah, and then Beast leapfrogged over Magic. They probably did a high five because they're rad. <laughs> moved to the back point and changed it. Yeah, it's it's the problem, guys. If you're not from the UK, is just that they really have no air con, uh, no air conditioning except for like maybe modern, like a uh, modern high-rise uh, office building that kind of a thing yeah it looks like bullseye's doing a uh, hit and run i would think probably and on top of that the uk just isn't that hot in general like you're lucky if it hits 25 in the summer here that's like on a good day yeah. definitely uh that was a massive hit by the way from bullseye into uh beast yeah he needs only one to daze him wow Ooh, one, two, three hits, two saves so far. Also, it doesn't matter what Bullseye gets or what a Beast gets. Because oh, Bullseye he's just going to do that standard. thing. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. dazed. He is dazed. I thought he did a hit and run, though, so he should have moved after that attack, first attack, I think. Oh, there's Beast off the table. Oof, Unless for all this trouble. Hey Jakara, you mentioned being on service in the in the Middle East. I'm, I'm sure that was terrible. I have to say that the good thing about the UK is the humidity levels when it gets hot like this is not they're not high by some miracle. Because uh, I grew up in New York City area, and it, when it's hot, it's also horrifically humid. Here it's not. I uh, yeah, I've got a couple of friends over there, and that's all all they say. <laughs> it's, it's miserable. The humidity in New York is miserable. Yeah. So here it's okay. Right, so uh, Bullseye, <laughs> taking Beast off the table, moving up and taking the uh, trap at taking the bottom. Point, yeah. Right, so that takes care of this bottom side of the table. And that's one for one points down there. And here, it's also one for one on the traps so far. Yeah, Christian's got full uh, reign of the land as well. He can do what he wants when he wants. So. Iron Man takes the scroll. And... Uh, Nick Fury still needs a day's token. Keeps f screwing me up. And oh, so it's only Iron Man left then. Yeah, so it's Iron Man left, so he should just skedaddle. What I would have liked, maybe, is... Oh, he's going to go for the point. Oh, he's going to seal him the team. To, yeah, he could have gone... Moved medium. Well, it just doesn't matter. But yeah, he could have moved medium, changed this, then move back and pick up the scroll. But I guess this way he's further away from people. So, so let me think about this. Uh, if he gets seven, he's get two for the scroll. It's nine, and maybe three traps is 10, 11, 12. 12 points yeah. to seven. 12 points to seven. Yeah. It's not over yet, guys. I've seen, yes, Shield definitely looks like in a good position, but I have seen comebacks easily in MCP. 
yeah, definitely with the, the the pay to flips, but the pay to flips are still in Christian's favour, right? Where the dice have to line with uh, Chris, but yeah, you're definitely right, Norbert. It's not over, I don't think. So people are asking about the stream review. If you're in the game, like right now, I can see it. I've turned it on for myself, though. So the other two players cannot see it. Uh, if you're one of those two players and turn it on, the other player will not see it. So it's definitely it's just per person, whoever is. Um, yeah. If you have it on, it it's just for you. It. But I yeah. advise people to turn it on, not just for streaming, but just for playing. I, I It's way easier to play this game with this uh, heads up display. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it gives you the same thing you would have in real life, where you could just look over your opponent's mm -hmm. yep. corner, <clears throat> and if you know you've communicated nicely, then the opponent should be able to put their cards out for you, nice nicely for you to have a look, and it's yep. no different than that. So yeah, so um, it also reminds me of my WoW days because man, I had a good run with WoW for, upon release. That was good times. But then it got addicting, and so I had to kind of cut it off. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I used to WoW back in my day. What, on release? What's that? Was... Uh, what, World of Warcraft? Not on release, no. Yeah. I was just, uh, I was Burning Crusade when I jumped uh -huh, in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I would WoW. Yeah, WoW was good times. I had a good... I had, my, I had... um, when they did the, was it the 10th anniversary, I think? Oh, um, yeah, where they had the... My uh... friend was one month off and never um, <laughs> never left like, his house paying his subscription <laughs> so he didn't get like the nice trophy thing that Aww. he sent everyone that had a subscription for 10 years i think he was just like one decline payment in his 10 Aww. years so. wow i um my story with wow was this i um i was playing once on uh it was oh sorry let's see here first corvus glaive flip the trap looks like yeah yeah so let's just keep track here. Chris John is four points away from winning this game. Mm -hmm. Has the scroll. That's two. So he needs two traps. Yes, that's right. Corvus needs to get Iron Man before he bails. <laughs> right. So yeah, he hasn't got a cube now, so he can jump. Yes. Yes, he finally could do what he's been wanting to do. He's got enough power to do uh, one big attack. Wow, look at other people having friends with WoW addictions. Yikes. Yeah, it wasn't pretty at the end. I definitely was glad to have broken it. Uh, maybe a little later than I should have, but nonetheless, not too much damage. But anyway, so what happened was it was Friday night. I'm playing this game, and I'm playing, yep. and I got the headset on, you know, so I don't disturb my wife, and everything's fine. Playing the game, playing the game, and uh, having a great time. All of a sudden, I keep hearing something right like outside of my headphones and it was like kind of right. distracting me because i was in between stuff i suppose i was distracted and and i was like what so so i take the headphones off to, to try to figure out what the hell is making this noise turns out somehow it became dawn and that was the birds singing oh no <laughs> yes yes and and time lapse and like half behind you <laughs> and on saturday mornings in that time my wife used to have to work half day at her clinic uh, like she'd have to get be there for eight so it was like six in the morning or something like that and she was about to get up to so i had to go upstairs and sneak into the bed as if i was sleeping <laughs> so she wouldn't get upset to find me down there still overnight <laughs> oh well oh, oh. It's interesting so it looks like corvus went into winter soldier right and then christian is Iron in the sky to winter soldier right but honestly i would have liked to leave Iron in the sky for iron man to get him out of the way yeah sure so he doesn't get hit yeah because uh corvus has only got free power so um he can't do a death's um decree because that's four so Yeah, interesting. I suppose he's going to let the scroll drop. If, you know, Iron Man, let's say Corvus stays as Iron Man, scroll drops, whatever, but then Winter Soldier can start beating up Corvus again. Yeah. But still, like, Corvus on six health, with, even with uh, the rapid fires, is going to be tough with the minus one. And, um, yeah, with. So that's um, th th three hits into Iron Man, so he's got two left. 
comes the next attack. He hasn't got enough to count blanks again, unfortunately. Ah, blocking one. So, just taking one damage. Wow. So that's Iron Man still alive. <laughs> Iron Man's good. D definitely tanks. Mm hmm. He's tanky when he needs it. Cool. Fine skill. So, he did have six power, so he spent four for. Okay. So, um. Corvus not doing terribly much, uh, and is done. That's not good. Yeah. That's not good for Acolyte. I think this game might be over this turn, and he needed to do a hell of a lot more work. Yeah, because Iron Man should just get the hell out of Dodge now. Iron Man would, should just run away now, right? Yeah, because he, he needs to get far away from Rogue. Run away, Iron Man! Oh, Shield Mobile! Yeah, that's yeah. A... <laughs> get in your car, Iron Man. Start it up. Run, run. <laughs> Uh, cool. uh, can you hold the fort for two seconds in orbit and I'll be straight back you bet um oh oh he did battlefield medicine I was like why is he suddenly um removed all that damage but he used battlefield medicine which is the shield version of med pack which is legal this season so he's healed him up which makes sense somebody's healed him up anyway and uh, what okay they're just fixing the cards to make sure that they're registered right. And I suppose he's just going to run now. Come on. What's happening? Run away. Forrest. Keeps changing his mind about battlefield medicine. Keeps flipping the card back and forth. I'm not sure. It's slowly getting cooler here. Not very much. I'm looking at my little thermostat. Iron Man attacking. Hey, you're back. All right, I'll catch you up. So uh, they used Battlefield Medicine on Iron Man to heal him up. Ooh, nice. Yeah, no, it's good. And now I think Iron Man's uh, shooting uh, Storm for some reason. I would have just run away, but that's me. Uh, yeah, he just needs one power, right? And then he can move uh, move long with a shield mobile. And then oh, that's short. what it is. He needs the power. Okay, makes sense. Sure enough. So one, two, three. Um, she blocks free because of the cover. All right, he's booking. Yeah, short. But no. To be fair though, I don't think shield reveal was in your activation though, just like climbing gear. So if someone does do a power to him, and at any point. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah. Nice one. So. Yeah, Christian's <clears throat> got to be uh, careful about that because if one power gets to the Iron Man, then Oop. he just boom, pulls the key. Gets into Ruby. <laughs> yep, gets into Ruby and gets out of there. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right there, uh, Joe Manji. Um, in hindsight, Corvus getting to go early was really bad for Chris. He needs to be out causing mayhem while someone else covered the back with it. I think... Maybe Corvus could have mission objected on yeah, Storm, and then Storm chill out, and then Corvus kind of do his thing. Yeah, agreed. But I think sometimes you do get in the mindset of just Corvus is a god, and nothing's ever going to take him down. So you can get risky with them. Mm. That uh, was Storm attack or Rogue rather attacking Witcher Soldier. Or Winter Soldier attacking Storm? No, yeah. Sorry, Rogue's attacking Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. He's taking two hit points. He's got four left. What is the movement there? I think this is Winter Soldier's turn. Oh, okay. But why would he move short? Oh, is that the, um, the spender? No. Um, no. Spender cost four. Mm. Unless Rogue threw him. Yeah, I think it might have been Rogue. That's what it was. Yeah, Rogue threw him. 
Yeah, Rogue is not be on fire, bless her. <laughs> she is being lukewarm at best. Which is the temperature I would rather it be. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yes. Oh, and uh, Nick Fury got two damage now. Two damage on Nick. Yeah, I'm I'm interested about this targeting into Rogue. Uh, sorry, Rogue targeting into Winter Soldier because Chris is behind on points, right? And really needs to stop Christian getting the best he can. So hmm. maybe her, her moving and charging or just moving trying to get some more points. Yeah, I think Christian needs to just hold hold this hold the uh, steering wheel straight <laughs> until until the checker flag falls. Yeah, definitely. I just think yeah, Chris should have you maybe thought about Rogue in a way to stop the points and stop the tempo rather than hyper focusing on Winter Soldier. But mm -hmm. I get it when he's been such a nuisance all game and you just want to take him out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I think um, Sasha's correct on this one. I don't think there's a way back for Chris at this point. With two of his big hitters down, Beast out of the way. The Storm of Magic left, yeah. It's going to be very difficult. Okay, Nick into uh, Storm. That's going to take out Storm. Well, not, not with that roll, though. Let's see what the defense looks like. Hmm. They're debating about something. the defense roll now. That's better. Uh, yeah, a lot better. So, Oof. five damage. Um, he gets cover, but obviously the pierce from Nick Fury, yeah, I think that's enough to take him down. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Fury's a beater, isn't he? He is a beater, yeah. Um, definitely. He. That's what I really like about Nick. Like, once he's got enough power, and that's why I like taking Wong with him, actually. Okay. Just uh, uh, as a nice sort of two threat, just to give him extra power with Meditate to always get Iron Sky and stuff, but um, Mutant Mad Men is, is great for him. He's got four physical defense. Uh, he likes to be on those bees, so um, mm -hmm. he's always moving free to get those pierce and get more juice for the power. What's their affiliation leadership ability? Oh, that's true. Um, so we haven't seen much of it, but I think um, we did see it there. Um, so if they're ahead of points... They get to basically aggressive for one power when they take a damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they're behind in points when someone's dazed uh, or KO'd, they get one point, one victory point on wow. that turn. Huh. Interesting. Or for that round, I believe. So, yeah, no, you're right, Sasha. It looked like Winter Soldier took a damage and then paid a power to move forward. So, Winter Soldier's still good to go. Magic paid three. I think she just paid for Journey Through Limbo. Yep. Yep. Pop him off the point. Venom, that is. Which could mean a one dice. Do you right? So do you go for the five dice pierce into three? Mm -hmm. uh, into two, sorry. Or do you go for the four dice into one? Hmm. Depends if you need the power or not for something else, I'd imagine. That's true. If you need the um, yeah the power for something, but well, 
What is uh, Huggy back from holiday? No, he was busy doing an olive oil tasting today, which may, may nice. he might be late for joining us on this game. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're there, Huggy. Um, Venom just took a nasty hit. He's down to yeah, one hit point it. left. Magic hitting him with that big bad sword of hers. Yeah, I think he's going for the energy attacks into this. Yeah, of course. Um, which makes sense. Uh, he's got enough power to do uh, so many snacks back, though, right? Yeah. That's probably what's happening right now. Uh, no, it looks like he forgot. Well, no, he just healed himself. One power. Okay, cool. Yeah, and, and magic took one. Yeah. Great. And that must be magic second attack. And that daze is uh, Venom. So he's got one trap at the bottom, dazed venom, uh, but bullseye still active over there. Yeah. He's only got one power, so we can't do pin cushion, but he could get two regular hits off. Yeah. But uh, I, think, I think it doesn't matter really in this point. He's just playing around, just closing out the game. Yeah, just uh, finishing how it goes through. Winter Soldier flips the trap at the top. Yeah. So that's one, two, three. Yeah. Four or five points. Which, if it state stays as it is, will bring uh, Christian to 17 points. Attacking Storm. Or is that Rogue? Sorry, Rogue. Yeah, you're going to wrong Rogue. You might as well try this point. <laughs> Gives her a bleed. <laughs> He's Christian. He's already had enough. He doesn't need this. I know. He just can't finish the game. Because I understand farming some points because it does make a difference for standings potentially, uh, I suppose. Uh, but uh, No, because it's already controlled. So her being there doesn't really matter. No, no, I meant uh, in the overall league standings. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but so long as you're X and 1, you go to the cuts, and that's really all that matters. Doesn't matter how far, how high you are in the rankings. In any case, he's... Um... Yeah, so he did the spender. Right. So attack... And then push her, yeah, attack, and then push her away, and then he gets to do his rifle attack and put her now as well. Yeah, that's what she blocks everything. <laughs> Just taking bullets to the face and not caring. All right, fine. Uh, that's that's done. <laughs> Black Widow's left. Who's she gonna beat up? Corvus? No. Sure enough, Corvus. <laughs> he hasn't got any retaliation. It's not like attacking is gonna lose him the game. So. <laughs> No, she doesn't do very much. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, but you're no. right, Gil. Like, all, all uh, Christian really needs to do is activate Bullseye to see whether he gets that yeah. back point. Oh, he used the spender on him. <laughs> so he's got Brace. Uh, brace, he's got uh, Stagger on him. <laughs> <laughs> it's that Widow's Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Another point of hit point of damage. Have we learned anything about shield tonight, Norbert? Um, the cards, tactics cards seem good. Yeah. The the leadership ability I didn't really see. Maybe we could ask about that. Um, come into play very to much. Be, yeah. To be fair, um, I think the points of which um, shield were being damaged 
the uh, move didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. It is on people like She-Hulk where it really does come in because she's got aggression and also can play leadership as well. So she can double aggression move and then get in range for um, bodyguards and stuff. But if you had someone with bodyguards, then it, it can be really important because you can take a damage, move up, and then be in range. Or people with taunt, like Luke Cage, really likes that aggressive move. Yep. Right, so Bullseye did manage to uh, flip that last trap, giving what? all six points to Christian. What an absolute lad. Yeah. Thank you, Sasha, for watching. So everybody else, we are going to now join the two players for the post-game interview. So I'll see you over there, Marcus. See you over there. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello, gentlemen. How are you? Not too bad. Very good. Thank you. First of all, this is Norbert speaking. I'm here with Marcus. And... Hi, everyone. How's it going? Yeah, hey, Marcus. Hey, Norbert. Good. Thank you so much, both of you, for allowing us to stream the game. It was wonderful to see uh, some uh, new, the newer affiliations uh, doing their thing out on the table. So it was really entertaining to watch. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry about all the mistakes I made. That well. <laughs> You're trying to take a plus. Yeah. Nothing that affected the game when we caught it, so it's all good. Yeah, and um, Chris, we we assumed it was just Corvus trying to be, you know, the, a bigger boss than he already is. And it wasn't your fault. Yeah. It's right. Black Order are allowed to cheat. It's how it happens. They're the bad guys. Yeah. Chris, let's start with you. First of all, um, we were wondering where is it England that you're from? It is, yeah. Ah, okay. And, and near near somewhere? Somewhere? Um, just outside Yorkshire. Ah, okay. Do you know Mike East then? Well, I don't know many people in Marvel game. Okay. I was a X-Wing player. I've just recently moved over. Well, right. that's great. Glad to have you. Are you enjoying your season so far? Yeah, I basically joined just for some fun. I didn't expect to win any, so... Oh. One I'm happy with. Good for you. That's the right attitude. I think you were playing great. X Men is not the easiest faction to play because of all the movement shenanigans that they have, which is also what makes them attractive. Um, but maybe as an X X X X Wing player, that that appeals to you. Yeah, I don't think I played that well to be honest. I made some howling mistakes throughout that. Well, tell us about your approach then. Um, you know, you you were going into a matchup with a very against a very wide list. Is that what you were expecting? No, it wasn't. I was expecting She-Hulk to be down. <laughs> Any particular reason why? Um, simply because I had Hulkbuster in the list, and she just absolutely dominated him. Gotcha. I expect She-Hulk, and the, then the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent can make the numbers up. Mm-hmm. So one thing that we noticed is that we were trying to debate whether Cor your Corvus finding the scroll was a good thing or a bad thing. How do you feel about it? Um, finding it, I think, was good. Not really having any decent people to hand it off to that had not been absolutely slapped around mm -hmm. was bad. Yes. We do you feel um sorry, no, no go ahead, go, do you go. feel that you could have um mission objective a bit earlier, Chris? With with Corvus to maybe um dump it on to someone else and then let him go off and do the killing or was that not in the plan? It's an option, but the only person that was really there to do that was Storm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And having her so far up with no real defensive tech, I'm surprised Storm lasted as long as she did. <laughs> normally with my game she gets one shot so I think you had the possibility to hand it off to Rogue here between your attacks yes in the in the later round uh, when admittedly there's a lot of people around you that were dazed the, the one person that wasn't but was activated was Rogue but uh, I don't know because it was a move in Fury right so he has no ability to do it there because he was shot then reaction, reaction uh, shot from the I don't know if there was a possibility here but when it would, would be there yeah Storm, Storm was never a real possibility well oh, round here Storm was but yeah I could have missioned objective of the reaction because it is reactive as well 
so I could have spent the power and dumped it off onto onto road. Mm-hmm. Just completely in mind. Yeah, well, I mean, this, it's a complicated game. Um, you're doing very well, uh, all things considered. Christian is one of the best players in the league, so um, it, it's it's understandable that these little things sometimes uh, you forget. They just forget. Um, yeah, I think was tilted by some of the dice with Rogue that did it. Yes, we, we're not surprised. Rogue was definitely uh, n- not her best self today. No, uh, I think in the game we call that uh, a big old whip. A big whip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think going as wide as it did really hurt me because Rogue was down primarily for Venom mm-hmm. and she got nothing near him. I did start to bring her over, but then once Corvus found the, the scroll over here, I thought he might need a little bit of backup. I needed to get rid of Bucky or Daisy before I could go and do anybody else mm-hmm. and then come what about it when he was over here. And he got his reaction shots off. Yep. Um, I, I... I mean, I have pumped like at least one eye in the sky, perhaps two in rogue and brace and indomitable. <laughs> so... <Yeah. laughs> That's true. Yeah, you exhausted a lot of your cards that one turn. Yeah, I started off well and then just started making bad decisions and chasing bad decisions with bad dice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I thought I thought you I thought you had a I thought you had a strong opening actually. I, I thought you know Corvus getting the thing and having a lot of targets around him uh, afterwards after you know getting the scroll could have could have gone your way. Um, but uh, like you said, there there were some maybe some bad decisions, also some bad dice, and so it kind of just unraveled. It seemed like yeah, especially as. Um side looked a bit weaker at that point on that side mm. obviously due to targeting and how things worked out it plays completely in christian's favor which is great but um when corpus got it, it was a bit weaker on that right flank. yeah yeah that was pretty terrible for me that's the most one uh one location i didn't want to find yeah found. exactly it looked i was like okay it looked like that was the one place where if a scroll was found you were, you and i it think it was it was a little bit risky because if corpus uh, doesn't find it here and it's found on the other side in the rest of the turn by me or by him I just move almost everything on the other side and yeah Corvus is like here and I don't care no you just ignore Corvus at that point yeah, right? yeah. if he and if he doesn't that doesn't find the core in this position I try to ignore him completely yeah. and with cards such as shield mobile you could use that just to yeah, completely right. ignore him and just get over and change your flank yeah. Which is one thing I really like with Shield, and I don't know whether you noticed it, which we'll get to questions in a minute, we'll just and we'll carry on with Chris. But... Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Marcus, because otherwise I was going to switch oh, no, up. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was just going to say with Shield, uh, I don't know where you found this, is with their leadership uh, being able to obviously get that aggressive move, also with Shield Mobile and just some very good movers, you can quickly like swap a flank, right, Christian? And you can kind of change, put the game where you need to be when you need it. So. I mean, I. Use uh, use shield mobile here for the be uh, secure to change flank. That's true, but um, I don't know if I play with aggressive for this. Aggressive is more for shenanigans on Venom or Winter Soldier. Yeah. Cool, great. So, um, Christian, first of all, how did you decide to go so wide? What was your purpose? Um, I don't know. It just. I mean, I didn't want to play she hike into uh, the crisis. And it just, I need to have more bodies and like, I mean, Black Widow normally does do a lot of work. She tries to get a point here and there, gets dazed, hopefully gets another point for me, something like this. So I play five with a, with a activation of Black Widow on top of this. And yeah, I mean, I, Kinda used, yeah, best damage dealers I had in the list, except she like obviously, but she isn't really super, like super constant. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, Winter Soldier. I debated Winter Soldier for Hawkeye because of another guy who uh, ignores cover, but I think Winter Soldier just synergized good with the rest of the list, so I did pick him up and played him a little more aggressive. Uh, so he didn't. So he, he 
comes around and tries to hunt rogue uh, storm so he needs to be in range he needs to be a little bit too forward i mean I, you saw it, i mm -hmm. uh, placed him like here in the first round which obviously got killed a little bit but but with my defense tech i could yeah could help him with long enough and then he had a young corvus shot at gun here and killed him we spoken uh, we did speak about this but uh up didn't he just dominated the field from the uh, yeah even on his injured yeah. side yep yeah but no i think trading um she hope instead of six threat into two free threats or the four threat of venom and two threat of bullseye was the right decision in the fact yeah that, that is a there. that is a point I, um like i mean i in this scenario i'm pretty sure i want to play nick fury uh two three threats and venom and then there isn't there's just isn't Base. I thought about Black Widow and Bullseye could be Black Panther, which I guess it's also okay, but I didn't want to have two fours who don't like energy too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody likes energy here. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. nobody's do, you have, in um, do you have Lethal Protector in your 10? Yeah, I have it. Yeah. There, I thought about you... getting it, but. Yeah, what? It was Indomitable put in instead of Lethal with Protector. Yes. Yeah. See, I was expecting Path to come out, which is why Magic went on the table. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. I think I spent too much worrying about what Christian was taking and trying to come to that rather than trying to play my own game. I think that didn't help at all. Mm. Um. Uh, oh gosh, Krishan, did the leader your leadership? I'm just curious about Shield since it's a relatively new affiliation. Did you end up using the, your leadership at all this game? I think I got one, or did I got two points at least one? And I used I don't know two aggressive. It's not a lot. Also, the, the I mean there are a few games the victory point side of leadership comes up relatively often. Um, so like three rounds or something, you get three VP and just trail, like just always trail one. So if they kill one start of turn, I get on uh, even victory points and get the other side of my leadership at least. Like uh, yeah, just just that is there even if I don't use it this much because I don't need to think about it. And um, if I can get an early lead, I. But I normally take it, and then the leadership doesn't come into play as much as more the tactic cards and more eye in the sky. And one situation here, like uh, the first time Boots, I ran to the trap. Um, I didn't know if it was the right decision. I could have just uh, thrown another knife at Magi, do more damage, and get one. Yeah. Yeah, but I get more point, got more points as round and stuff. If I could like try one point behind, uh, then I would do like to do more damage, I think. But yeah, it didn't come up here. Mm, okay. Right. Let's talk to the guys. Uh, this is the end of week three for the two of you. You get to make some swaps potentially to your roster. So let's start with you, Chris. What any any um, changes that you're thinking of making? Yeah, I think I'm taking. Honey Badger out in Magic and drop in um, Domino and Ghost Spider in there instead. Mm -hmm. go, go ahead, tell us your logic. Um, I think I'm lacking a little bit in the X-Men 3s. Magic is mainly a tech piece, so she doesn't always come out. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you don't want Beast when there's energy on the table, which only leaves you Gambit and X-23, so Dominoes are very good kill piece as well um, X-Men of Old Flight having Ghost Spider in there having the the gold hop attack move attack move is really good and the pulling people out of range into cover is also very good the other one is that I'm expecting to see a lot of Malkit after we <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes yep. and having him drop his ferocity to then have Ghost Spider pull them out of range two and just completely deny that and just turn it into a two power move sounds brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. That's good. You're thinking ahead. How about you, Christian? Mm, I'm not 
not so happy with She-Hulk at the moment, so I don't know if I keep him. I need to ch is another shield piece, which is good, but I think in most situations, like Hulkbuster or especially the normal Hulk is just straight better. And she has a few good things, but I don't think it's, it's enough. And I don't know, I'm not sold on Panther either. So I'm thinking about these two, but Panther mostly because I didn't play him as much, I think. Right. Okay. Did I'll be you honest. Get Malika into shield. <laughs> don't think I have a point for this. <laughs> you guys. But I we won't think about it so much because I'm going on vacation tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, you were gonna say something. Go ahead. Um, she Hulk did actually play a. A big part in the game. I was so worried about her turning up. Hope Buster did not make the table. He's been yeah. an absolute superstar for me in my list. I think if I put him on the table, it could have gone differently. Yeah. But the fact that she can throw out an eleven dice builder into something like Malka and stagger him, and anybody bringing a big character, they're going to have to think about that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's like on more focused scenarios, it's a lot more viable. Like research, for example, would work well. Yeah, like research, gamma, everything, which is a little bit more clamped up. Okay, great, guys. Um, I think, uh, first of all, congratulations again to Christian. Well done. Uh, good luck to you in the remaining parts of the 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 Swiss League. And Chris, don't give up hope yet. This is just your first loss, correct? Yep. Yep, yep. And so your first league as well, right? You want to know? And your first league as well? Your first CTS yeah, league? your first league. Yeah. So just keep up the good work and uh, you might be able to make it through to the cuts, which would be amazing. It would. Um, I was happy with just two wins. So even if I just get another one out of the last three and just go even, I'll be absolutely ecstatic. Amazing. Yeah, and uh, look, you're in Yorkshire. There's loads of people playing it up there. Um, you, we hope to see you out at a live event sometime soon. Yeah, hopefully. Brilliant. Okay, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. It was wonderful having the chatters again, as usual. And a special thanks to Marcus, my guest host today. It was another brilliant week with you. Thank you. No, it was great. Thank you, Norbert, for having me on uh, the last couple of weeks. Uh, Huggy's back for next week. Yes, Huggy should be back, barring uh, any, any mishap in Italy. <laughs> um, but yes, he'll be back. Um, so thanks, everybody. And I will be streaming again on Wednesday when I play my match uh, as well. So thanks again and good night. Bye, everyone. Thank you.